Welcome to this tutorial for the Garmin G1000 Avionics Suite in MSFS. We're using the Diamond DA62 as our demonstrator for this tutorial, but it works exactly the same way in a Cessna or King Air as well. The tutorial is from a runway start with engines on, we've planned our flight in the MSFS world map. But during this tutorial you'll see how to navigate and make changes to your flight plan on the G1000. So we'll start with our pre-flight bits and pieces, there's not a lot to clear up. So first of all we'll just check our flight plan has loaded, which it has. So we're going from Duxford to Heathrow and our approach is for runway 27 left at Heathrow. We'll now head over to the PFD and we'll start setting up our autopilot. So this will be a fairly low level VFR flight, so we'll cruise at around 3000 feet. Use the altitude button to set that and then to climb to the altitude hit vertical speed followed by the nose up button to select your desired climb rate. We're going for 1000 feet per minute. With that set we'll activate nav mode and the aircraft will follow our flight plan as well. At this point we'll also hit the B hotkey to set our altimeter to local pressure. With that done and the aircraft already in takeoff config, we can begin our takeoff rule. In the Diamond DA62 you can rotate around 80 knots as always bring landing gear and flaps up after takeoff and we can activate the autopilot pretty much as soon as we take off either using our autopilot hotkey or the AP button located on the MFD. The plane will now climb to 3000 feet where it will level off into a cruise and it will of course follow our flight plan. First of all we'll turn on the pitot heat during our climb. We'll also dial in our ILS frequency for our destination using the nav wheel on the top left corner of the PFD. At Heathrow that's 109.50 for 27 left and once we've dialed in the frequency we'll use the swap button to make it our active frequency. Now we'll start taking a look at some of the more complex stuff in the G1000. For example on the procedures menu you can choose to activate your approach but you can also choose to select either a different approach to the one you have configured or program in an approach if you don't have one set already. Like most menus on the G1000, you can navigate this using a combination of the inner and outer FMS control wheel. And if you want to commit your changes, you just use the enter button. Once you have programmed in an approach, you will get the option to either load it or activate it, and it will then become part of your flight plan. Speaking of flight plans, if we look at our flight plan menu, again using the FMS control wheel, you can scroll through your waypoints and you can either clear them out using the clear key or you can head direct to a certain waypoint by moving the control wheel over that waypoint then hitting the direct to button followed by enter for activate. If at any time you want to cancel your changes, you can just press the button that corresponds to the menu that you're in. A nice easy one zooming in and out of the map on the MFD is done by using the range wheel on the right hand side of the MFD. So we've been in cruise for a while, we're now going to dial in the altitude we want to be at when we intercept the localizer. As you'd expect we use the altitude control wheel on the left hand side of the PFD, followed by the vertical speed button and then nose down to select our desired vertical speed. We'll descend at around 600 feet per minute and also throttle down slightly. Approach v 2559 or heavy is passing 9,000 feet, descending 7,000 feet. We'll now start to slow down for our approach, so we'll throttle back to approach speed, apply flaps and drop the landing gear. As we get close to the waypoint where we intercept the localizer, we'll activate approach mode on the autopilot and the plane will start to follow the localizer. As we reach the glide slope, the plane automatically starts to descend and we throttle back further to maintain our approach speed. So as we switch the autopilot off just above the runway and perform a manual touchdown, that concludes our introductory flight with the Garmin G1000 in the Diamond DA62. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please drop a like and feel free to subscribe as I make this kind of content fairly regularly. Take care and I'll see you next time.